method and using find elements method you can get the multiple elements from the web page okay so any difficulty in understanding or executing then i can and uh, revise that thing otherwise in today's topic we will be discussing one more concept that is switch to concept that is how to move your focus from one tab to another tab okay so should we proceed anything uh, doubt if you want to ask okay everything clear everything clear okay okay uh, you are trying on your system you are doing the practical writing the program on your system executing them hmm okay everything is working okay fine so okay so let us start with today's topic just a second so what i want to do is <coughs> that is if i go to w3 the schools website and i click on some like get certified yeah. and when i click on this get certified and i click on this html link so this link is opening on new window new tab <coughs> you see again pardon yes the screen is visible or not visible okay just a second not is visible okay he will join in no no he will join little bit late he he have some work so he will join little bit late okay so what i am doing today is that if we go to this w3 school site and i click on this get certified then i get this html link and if i click on this link it will open on a new tab Again, if I click on JavaScript, it will open on a new tab. Again, if I click on Python, it is opening on a new tab. So it means when I when I am clicking on a link, it is not opening on a same window. Like up till now, we were clicking on some links, so it was opening on a same window. But here, what it is what it is happening? it is opening the link on a new window <coughs> on a new tab and if the link is opening on a new tab then i have to change my focus from one tab to another tab if i want to work on javascript i have to change my focus to javascript then only i can work on it if i want to work on this html then i have to change my focus to html then only i can work on it here yeah. okay so it means that if you are opening the link like some links are there which is opening on a new tab and you want to work on that particular tab then you have to change your focus now my focus is on this page and i want to work on python then i have to change my focus to that this window then only i can work on it so that is what i am demonstrating today that is if the links are opening on a new tab then how to automate them okay that is what i am discussing today <coughs> let us start today's session we have already created this page dot java i'll create one more test case
Public log move to window. Any name I can give. Extend speech. <laughs> I am making my own user defined method and inheriting open browser. Which browser to open? Which URL to open? say Chrome and which you are able to open this one W3 school site this one so my focus right now when I'm opening the browser my focus is on this page so whenever I'm finding the element it will look for the element on this URL so I can write this is my main tab this is my main tab and when I write driver dot find element, so you can use driver dot find element, or you can use the external XPath also. So we have discussed in our last classes, that is, you can write a path external path also, and you can use the at the rate find by. Both the things you can use. So I use simple driver dot find element by dot XPath. dot click so what where I want to click I want to click on this get certified inspect okay. this is a uh, coming and ID also coming ID is equals to here ID is coming so I just copy the export from here and paste it so it will click on this get certified and after get certified what I want to do I want to click on this HTML so here ID is not coming so I can use some other attribute like title so I can use this title <laughs> so now again I'm using driver dot find element <coughs> by xpath and here I am creating my own xpath double slash star square bracket at the rate title is equals to single quotes and title okay dot click so what it will do it will open new tab 1 it will open tab 2 okay we have seen when I click on it, what it will open? It will open this this new tab. But my focus will not change. My focus will remain on this page only. Focus will not change. So again, because my focus is on current page, that is w3schools.com only, I can click on another JavaScript also. So again over here, title. I will use this title. Control C.
like this driver dot find element by x path again at the rate title is equal to javascript dot click it will again click one more tab will open up tab 3 when I click on it again this javascript tab will open but my focus will not change my focus will remain my focus will remain on this page only and again I want to click on this python So what we are doing today is how to change my focus from one tab to another tab. Okay. So what we have done, uh, it's, it's a demonstrative example in which we are moving to this w3schools.com. I am going to this demonstrative site w3schools.com. And I want to click on this get certified. So here we have written click. It will open get certified window here. And then I want to click on this HTML. When I click on this HTML, it will open a new tab. Manually, if you see, my focus is changing to this window. But when we do it, do it through the Selenium, my focus will remain on this page. It will not move to this page. And again, if I click on JavaScript, it will open a new tab. Again, I click on Python, it will open a new tab. So it means now one, two, three, four tabs are open. But my focus is on this tab only, main tab. Because when we navigate to when we write this, when we write driver dot navigate to URL, so my focus will remain on this URL only. So where I am going, I am going to this thing, driver dot navigate to URL. I am going to w3 schools dot website, this one, and not this URL. This is a separate URL, campus. Python certificate. This is a separate URL. And this is a separate URL. So my focus will be on this page, w3schools.com only. Okay. And when I click on HTML link, like here we are clicking on HTML link, then JavaScript link, then Python link, then I am getting new tabs. So now the problem is that if I want to work on HTML window or Python window, then I have to change my focus. I have to change my focus from this tab to this tab. If I want to work on Python tab, then I have to change my focus to this tab. If my focus is not on HTML, I cannot work on it. If I want to work on HTML tab, I have to change the focus to the HTML, then only I can work on it. So how to change the focus that is what I am discussing. So here one tab is opening up then two, three, four tabs are opening up. Now 
after that i will write driver dot get window handles is a method driver dot get window handles is a method which returns the reference of this set the return type is set set is same thing which we have discussed in our collection list in the last class we have discussed that multiple elements when we find the multiple elements it returns the list of multiple elements list means list can have duplicate values also and similarly when we write get window handles it returns the object of set so i will write set and set is coming from util so what does this method do get window handles return references of all open tabs like a window handle if i want to go to the political room the i use the window handle to open the door to enter the room similarly here get window handles return the reference of all the open tabs all the open tabs whatever the open tabs it will return the references of that open all the tabs in the set object okay then we can use this reference like we are using the door handle to open the door to enter a room similarly we can use this handles to handle the tab now set means multiple multiple means i am getting 1 2 3 4 four reference is stored in this set so i have to get the data one by one so as discussed before we use iterator to get the data from the collection iterator So I think we have discussed iterator. What is the meaning of iterator before also? Okay. Java dot util dot iterator. And what is this iterator? Iterator retrieves the data one by one from the set object. So why it dot has next while it dot has next it dot that window handles returns the set of string objects here what it is storing a string which is less than and greater than it is storing the reference as a format of a string multiple multiple is multiple string objects are stored in set format and what does the iterator do iterator iterate the value get that is retrieve the value from this set and we get the tab reference one by one then there is one more method driver dot switch to dot window tab right driver dot switch to window and we pass the tab reference so it will pass the value of these four tabs one tab two tab three tab 
फोर टैब ऑल दीज रेफरेंस आर स्टोर्ड इन दिस सेट एंड वन बाय वन इट विल गेट द टैब रेफरेंस एंड पास इट टू दिस गेट विट स्विच टू विंडो टैब रेफरेंस एंड वट इट विल डू इट विल चेंज फोकस या स्विच फोकस चेंज फोकस फ्रॉम वन टैब टू अदर लाइक दैट बट हाउ विल यू कम टू नो नॉट विल चेंज द फोकस फ्रॉम वन टैब टू अनदर टैब लाइक दिस बट हाउ विल यू कम टू नो कि वेयर इज माई फोकस माई फोकस ऑन दिस और माई फोकस इज ऑन दिस मैनुअली तो आई नो Manually, so I'm, I'm, I know. Okay, my focus is on Python. My focus is on JavaScript. But as a programmatically, how will you come to know where is your focus? So every tab has a title. You see, W three schools, Python certification. This is a tab title. JavaScript. This is a tab title. HTML certification. So what I can do? I can get the title of the window. Driver dot. get title so what does it get title do it will get the title of the tab on which there is a focus if my focus is on html tab i will get the title of html if my focus is on python tab i will get the title of python <coughs> again i can compare if title dot contains if title dot contains say html then it means my focus is on html similarly else if title dot contains else if title dot concept contains say javascript then it means my focus is on javascript similarly so in the while loop it will get the reference one by one and then i will check and it will switch the switch from one tab to another tab and then i'm getting the title of every tab and then when i am comparing if my title is html then it means my focus is on html and i can work on html page if it is a javascript page then it is a, i can work on a javascript page as if python then i come over now uh say you on a html page if my focus is on html page i can uh, lay, uh, say want to click on this and get the price i want to get the price what i will do let us inspect it I want to get this HTML certification exam. This one, product title. So I can use this. I'll use the export only.
and I want to get the price. Okay. Okay. In this, there is a number coming. Okay, so it means this X path will not work because here the number will change. Here yes, numbers are coming now, so number can so it is not a authenticated because here numbers can change. Yes, IDs IDs are dynamic ID. So now instead of using this thing. I can use complete X bar, full X bar. So if the ID is dynamic, <coughs> it will not work. So I can use complete X bar also. And then you can print it. X. So it means just a demonstrative example. That is, if my focus is on HTML page, then it will find the element on this page because I have changed my focus. Right now, above when I was writing driver dot find element, it was finding on this W three schools URL. Okay, and when I'm clicking on HTML, JavaScript, Python, so it was finding the element on this W three schools page only. But now I am getting the text from another URL. This is a separate URL, HTML. This one is a separate URL, separate tab. So for that, we have to change the focus, and now uh, one by one, and then I am checking that if the title contains HTML, and now I am when I am finding the element, so it will find the element on this HTML page because my focus is on this page. That is a demonstrative thing which I want to show. Now, uh, say I want to on a JavaScript. Say I want to search something over here. So I just <coughs> so I use this name only. Name is equal to Q. So if my uh, control is on a JavaScript, then I am doing. Driver dot, so it will find the element on this JavaScript page. Something JavaScript post.
that way. Here it is doing some other work. Here it is doing some another work like and uh, it is searching for JavaScript cost and say when I am working on a Python. My course is an exam. Let us I want to click on my course is an exam. I want to click on this one. My course is an exam when I am on a Python link. Let us use this text. I will use this HRE. Again, I am writing driver dot find element by dot x path dot slash star square bracket add the data charge is it is Let us try to just run this much only. In this case, we can because this tab is opening up one after another, and after that, immediately it will try to store the value in get window handles. So maybe the tabs are not opened yet. So I will add some wait time so that all the tabs are opened up. So I will add some wait time. to 6000 millisecond so that immediately this is not called so in 6000 millisecond time all the tabs are opened up then we can get the reference of all the tabs
Okay. So if you see here, as this is first thing HTML certificate exam or here prize it has taken this. Then if you look at it, JavaScript. So in JavaScript it has written the JavaScript cost here. We have written the JavaScript cost. It is, and here we have clicked on this exam. Yes. In Python, it has clicked on uh, my courses and exam. And new tab is again opening up. Yes. So oh, it has moved the focus from one tab to another tab. Now, one more thing. After it has clicked on this particular tab. Here, here, click. It is again opening the new tab. So again, I have to change my focus to the new tab. So what I will do again? Driver dot get window handles. driver dot get window handles and again I am getting the set object so again I will get set and say I will uh, give the uh, separate because this this tab reference is different it was coming from that window now here when I click on this it is again opening one more tab so I let us give the name as uh, s only within greater than less than And then same as dot iterator. I will get the iterator object. Again, inside if I am writing while. Again, same thing. I dot next. Say string w. Okay. And then same. Driver dot switch to dot window w then same string say tl title is equals to driver dot get title and again if title dot contains or equals whatever like here the title is login when I click on this Python exam this again window is opening up what is the title login <coughs> log log or space I get this title so it means now my focus is on this window and again I can Driver dot 
find the element by see x path dot sandwich. Same thing over here. You can write thread dot sleep so that after a click, some weight is there. Say here, I want to add my email. name is equal to email so we'll, or id is equals to model username we we'll use the xpath copy xpath only so abc at the rate let us try to run it again so you see how we can open tab and then again tab is opening one more tab Let us print the title first. हमने यहाँ पर टाइटल लिख दिया यहाँ पर टीएल आना था ना द ऑब्जेक्ट इज टीएल एंड वी यूजिंग टाइटल तो टाइटल वो ऊपर वाला टाइटल को कंपेयर कर रहे हैं यार वी आर गेटिंग दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इन टीएल तो वी हैव टू यूज टीएल डॉट कंटेंट्स लॉग दैट्स व्हाई इट इज नॉट अगेन आई विल So now if you see here also it is working it is writing the it is changing the focus and it is writing the email here it is clicking on it edit and then new tab is opening then it also it is writing this email so how it is flowing yahan par click kara then html par click kara then javascript click then python click then 
change the focus if html get the price if javascript write the uh, keyword search keyword if python click on this my course if this is when i click on this my course an another tab is opening up then again i have to change the focus to this tab write the email this is the flow and if you see title when i when i am printing the title over here okay so it is printing the title w3 schools python javascript certification html login page so it means it is getting the reference of all the open tabs when i am printing the title okay so one more thing one uh, if i want to change my focus back to the main page here right now my focus is on this page i want to change the focus back to this page or i want to change my focus back to this page then for that case what you can do before the start of the while loop here <coughs> before the start of this while loop what you can do you can store the reference over here that is it dot next so this is the first tab that is main tab it dot next main tab and then after the while loop is finished so it will uh, it dot next will take the first first reference that is a main tab then it dot next has next will it dot next will take the reference from html python javascript first tab will be is first tab reference i have taken before while current main tab and after while loop is completed this is after this uh, while i think here no, i think here only yes after the while i can write again driver dot switch to window which window main tab so again it will take my focus to the say this one and for example now i want to click on this tutorials only for the demonstration only inspect now can you will start finding from the main tab Drive dot find element by xpath and write it. Similarly, over here, if you want to go back to the Python, then again you can store the reference of Python in your current. Like here, if you are if you see title contains Python, so you can store that particular reference for the future purpose, so that you can come back to it. like here if you want to if title contains python then if i write a string 
python रेफरेंस इज इक्वल्स टू और क्या था हमारा टैब रेफरेंस तो आई हैव स्टोर्ड तो दिस व्हाट एवर द टैब रेफरेंस इज राइट नाउ राइट नाउ व्हाट एवर द टैब रेफरेंस इज तो आई विल स्पेसिफिकली स्टोर इट इन वन वेरिएबल टैब रेफरेंस पाइथन रेफरेंस एंड वेन आई स्टोर इट इन पाइथन रेफरेंस उसके बाद आफ्टर दिस वाइल अगेन एंड ऑफ वाइल एंड ऑफ वाइल दैट इज इट हैज क्लिक ऑन दिस माई कोर्सेस एंड देन इट हैज मूव टू दिस टैब आई हैव रिटर्न द ई मेल एड्रेस हेयर and after writing email that is so say i want to back back to python so i will i have stored this reference python reference is equal to tab so tab reference will be stored here. and after the end of this while loop again i can move back driver dot switch to window and python reference focus back to python after this okay so you can and then you can again for the demonstration purpose say on the python say you want to click on this boot camps ye bhi alag tab open ho raha hai kya nahi Boot camps is opening on a same tab. Like here. Again, if I write it, Python, and if I click on click on this boot camps, it is not opening on a new tab. It is opening on a same page. I want to click on say boot camps driver dot. Now it will again find the element on a Python page. यही है ना स्लैश कलेक्शन स्लैश बूट कैप्स स्लैश कलेक्शन स्लैश बूट कैप्स ओके तो नाउ वॉट वी आर अगेन वी आर स्विच बैक When the complete process इससे ज्यादा कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी नहीं मिलेगी है ना तो वट वी हैन वी हैव इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी हैव ट्राई टू शो यू हाउ टू मूव टू डिफरेंट टैब्स एंड इफ वन टैब इज ओपनिंग अनदर टैब देन अगेन हाउ टू ऑटोमेट इट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो बैक टू द मेन टैब then also you, how you can do it
okay it is executed let us check if we start from here ye to chal gaya ye bhi इसमें कलेक्शंस बुटकर्स हमने खाली कलेक्शन बुट कैम्प लिखा है ई एन डैश आई एन इज ऑल्सो कम ई एन डैश आई एन let us try to run it because here the it is slash en dash in we were using only collections slash boot camps if you see it it has come back and it has clicked on tutorials last wala last one it has come back and it has clicked on tutorial this one last one and it started with the courses and similarly here in html it has taken the price so here HTML certificate exam price it has taken. Then in JavaScript has written the JavaScript code here. In JavaScript we have written the JavaScript keyword. Then it has clicked on this Python, and in Python it has clicked on this login button. 
the exam learning then in python it has again clicked on this login it has come to this here we have moved to the tab and i have written the email address over here email address i will and now back to the same and it has clicked on boot camps so it means it has gone back and clicked on boot camps also. okay any problem in understanding so it is executed okay understood in the same program uh, in a, the last program which we have done that is one more example last program we have done uh, my screen is visible now hello hello okay 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 in the last example uh, one more uh, demonstration i'm showing you that in the last example we have done amazon.in example and we have searched sunglasses sunglasses <coughs> Now what I want to do, I want to click on some product, this one. Now it is again opening on a new tab. When I click on some product, it opens on a new tab again. You see? And when it opens on a new tab, say I want to purchase or add to the cart. Then if I want to click on this add to the cart, I can only click on this add to the cart when I change my focus to this product then only I can add to the cart so let us try to do this one also say add to cart <laughs>
we have opened this amazon search the gun sunglasses press the enter key now after that i want to click on a product last class we have done that i want to fetch all the price and the uh, product title but right now what i am doing i want to add to the cart so like i sun glasses enter and then i want to click on this product this one I will use this text. This is link text. Okay, this is the link text. So I can use Control C. Okay, this is the link text. So I can use driver dot find element. By dot partial link text. I can use this one. Partial link text. Dot click and if I write link text over here, this is a very lengthy link text, and here also number is coming, and this number can keep on changing. So I will remove this. So partial means it can take part of the text also. Partial link text. So wherever it is finding this text, it will click on it. Now, when I click on it, I will get two windows. One, two. So same process. I have to repeat again. That is driver dot get window handles, which will return the set object. So set stores the reference of all the open tabs. So how many tabs are open? Two, one, two. And before that, we should write thread dot sleep here. So that I get all the references is stored. Get one like this. Now, same as dot iterator and then string current main because I can go back also I will store it it dot next and here also I can use while loop or simply write it dot next again because I, there is only two tabs opening up so I know there are only two tabs so no no need to write while it dot next you can simply write it dot again next. So it dot next will give me the another reference that is string. If there is only two tabs, then you can do this. Thing. Then it dot product tab. So this is current main tab. This is because two tabs are there only. One one is a main tab, another is a product tab. Search then driver dot switch to window and I want to move the control to the product tab and when my focus change to the product tab then I can 
click on this add to the cart but add to the cart will again show some error but let us try to work on it inspect let us use this value is equal to add to the cart let us try to use this one value is equal to add to the cart add to cart or type is equal to submit we will try to use this one name is equal to submit add to the cart id add to cart button add to cart button id we can also use add to cart button we can use id also no problem let's try to use this one. id Driver dot so this element will be available only when our focus will change. but it has not okay. okay so it has added to the cart so now focus has changed from one tab to another tab and we have clicked on add to the cart button the product mm -hmm. has been added to the cart so it's a, uh, a working example so if you want to have some doubt or you want to ask something you can ask otherwise we'll keep up to here only so in next class we will discuss one more thing that is how to uh, change my focus uh, to the uh, this thing uh, iframe what is iframe concept and how to change my focus to the iframe what is the meaning of alert and other things we will be discussing in our class so today's class I, if there is any issue you can ask me otherwise I will keep up to